Hi, welcome to Prax with K Ride. Um, there's many ways to work on playing chord changes. One way that I like to use because I tend to play a lot of blues in the bands I'm with is to actually just play through blues changes in many keys. And today I'm going to do a 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 pattern going through the blues changes. Um, I have the metronome on 2 and 4. And my goal is just to run myself through a lot of changes. Um, it's not it's not the same as improvising, but it's an intermediate intermediate step. I'm not going to have a play along because I want to get used to hearing and feeling the changes myself without being prompted by background track. So here we'll start on D. Two, three, four. Um, two. <laughs> So I usually run through them twice. So that's all in D. I'm going to do the same thing in E flat. You notice I'm putting a sharp four in the uh, measure six. Yeah, measure six. And then I'm doing a, I'm doing a one, one seven, and then the four. Then I'm doing a four, four seven, sharp four diminished, and then back to one, and then a six seven going to a two five, and then a one six two five at the very end. So here's E flat, two. Uh, two, three, and you can do it straight eighths or swing eighths, whatever you want to do. Two, three. chord. Back to the beginning, E flat. Two, Same thing, E flat, two, three. doing this over a few days is that it's getting easier and easier as far as to know what the next chord change is. And I added the nine just to make it a little harder for myself. All right, E. Two, um, two. Two, 
three. just a train wreck you want to go over and over and over till it's a lot easier so F again two three <laughs> Seven's screwing me up, but I'm gonna keep going on. F sharp seven, two, one, two, F sharp blues, two, three. <laughs> So that's easier. G, two, and one, two, three. That's the process. The idea is to go through all the, I'm going through every key I can possibly go through uh, around the, I'm going up and chromatically, I could go around the cycle and there's other ways of doing it. But this is just a place to start. I figure if I can't do this, why go on to other, other things? And this runs me through every possible combination of a one to four, a four to a sharp four, a one, a, a one going to a six, seven, going to a 2-5, going to a 1-6-2-5. So it runs me through a lot of different chord progression possibilities, okay? Now I got the rest of the keys to do. Keep practicing, guys. Bye.